Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of cancer for the month of October 2022. So as we begin, I'd like to welcome everyone who is returning to this weekly, this monthly series, and to also welcome anyone who might be new to the Angelic Wisdom community. So I'm going to start off by um, just saying, first of all, that I want to make sure that you all are aware of the general reading for the month of October. It was posted yesterday. Um, And so there will be a link um, in the description box of this video. So make sure you go there, check it out first, especially. So what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna just um, go through the sort of introductions um, for those of you who are new and to this um, process. And it's more, it's explained more in detail in that other video. So this allowed me to save time for these videos. Um, so first thing is first. So welcome again. And I would ask you to subscribe, you know, select the all notification bell, like, dislike, um, leave comments. Um, feel free to do that and share. Then um, as far as um, if you're looking for an angel reading with me after you've viewed this um, video, you can contact me at my current website, theangelschool.com slash services. That link is also below in the description area. And also, um, you can select the first time promotional offer for this entire year unlimited because it's my 10th anniversary year on YouTube. There are other things available that for, for you as well. If you just like to support with um, show your support and your gratitude um, for the work that I do in this channel. You can also um, access my PayPal me link where you can um, make a donation of your choosing. Just know that it doesn't matter the amount. It's just a, the, the support and encouragement um, that it shows and I'm very much appreciative. And finally, the format. So the format in front of you is that the card in the center is a message from the Archangel that you'll be working with in this month. And then the cards on either side are a message from your guardian angel, one from the major arcana and the other from the minor arcana. Major meaning the overall theme um, that's influencing things and then how that might be showing up in your day-to-day awareness in the minor arcana. So let's begin now. And uh, Cancers, let's take a deep breath. Just release, breathe out, and take another deep breath. And let go. So they're showing me a tree setting. And um, the tree keeps changing in terms of its size, the trunk of the tree. The branches are still um, very uh, full and wide. And a cross showed up. And this cross is like a thin cross, um, sort of. And then the word list. So there seems to be something that is creating uh, an imbalance, um, a stress on you, and it has to do with something that's on a list. Um, They also wrote the word letter. What I get the sense about this is that you tend to, you you have this yo-yo effect, you know, where you're um, energetic and then you're not, because this gives me the sense of a, a ten of wands um, kind of setting. And one of the things I want to mention too is that it was out in nature. So I feel like there's a need for you to really connect with nature more to kind of balance your energies out. Um, you're you're feeling a lot of things, and um, and then at the same time, with all these feelings. 
things that are going on collectively, you're also just, um, you have a lot on your plate and you're putting a lot on yourself that's a, a bit unnecessary. So with lists, they're usually in our head and some people don't put them down on paper and or they don't keep referring back to it. So when you make a plan, it just reminds me when I was making uh, lesson plans, when I first started, I really did not get, I got the understanding of the lesson plan, how, why it need to be written. But when I got um, there, it kind of stifled me because I'm not the kind of person that to really follow, start with a plan and then, you know, follow it. I did do it one time for a recital and it really helped me. But um, it, 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 it felt limiting at first because the thing is, is that I wanted to just go in all the directions that I normally go freely. But the thing is, especially in a job, if you do that, you end up saying yes to a lot of things <laughs> and that you, you can't handle. And also the right in the word support. And so I feel like that it's a reminder that you want to be supportive to everybody else, but you are always the one who needs it because you are the one who doesn't know how to ask for it. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> so you have to stick to your list. You have to stick to your priorities because if you go off script, which might be very comfortable for you in other areas of your life or and, and, and situations where you have better control over your boundaries, but not in not in that situation where you lose that control. You can't say no. You say you, you want to help everybody. You want to please everybody. And so in that regard, stick to your list in this month, okay? Make sure you have plans, very clear plans. Make sure it is specific to a particular purpose and make sure that that intention of that purpose is highlighted on every each day of your list um, and make sure that whatever comes onto the list elevates your purpose and your intention. Nothing more, nothing less. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the um, the Archangel that's coming up. And this is Archangel Mary. And it says, open your heart with compassion. Enfold others in love. So, you know, this word came up in some readings from yesterday. And what compassion meant, and as the angels were giving it to me, is about being honest with yourself. And this is also something you're going to hear in that general reading, this word. This is about being truthful with yourself. That's compassion. And you got to be truthful with yourself first in order to be truthful with other people when you have to tell it like it is. And when you're able to do this for yourself, when you're able to really be honest, let's get to that point first with yourself, then you have so much more to give because you're not giving people all this convoluted baggage. You're not giving them all of this, you know, um, I don't want to say indecisiveness, but it's just this confusion, this this lack of clarity. There we go. So in order to have clarity, you first got to be honest with yourself. You got to stop making excuses. And even though this card, Archangel Mary or Mother Mary is asking you to enfold others in love and to be compassionate, she's not telling you to let yourself be suffered by fools. She's not telling you to make yourself a doormat for others to walk all over. And she comes to us because, as we know, cancers have a, a very family 
oriented mothering kind of compassion they they their hearts go out to their families their loved ones they really um are this cohesive um, um component in a family and so the thing is is that often you will neglect yourself so this is not what is meant here don't waste energy first on your own excuses so when you when you go when you come back and say oh my god this is so much and la, 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 and and then you don't acknowledge the reason why and then you don't seek to change that pattern by making better choices and giving people what they need is the truth and that's compassion giving people what they don't need or or glossing over the truth or not saying what's coming from your heart. And let me tell you, your heart knows clarity. It knows how to be blunt. It also knows how to be soft. It knows it is a balance of the divine masculine and feminine. So do not play your heart with one tone that we have all come to associate with the word spirituality or love or compassion because we don't understand love if we think that love can't can't speak to every situation that that, that love cannot have a variety of tones with which to channel the truth Sometimes it's going to sting love. But whatever, however it comes about and however it comes into your heart, it's your duty to say it like it is coming from the universe. Okay? So take care of yourself so that you can be and take better care of the people around you, meaning the compassion you offer to them, let it be from the truth. Not your your desire to be liked by them, you know, and not seen as the as the as the as the bad parent or that kind of thing. All right. So here we have this energy, and it's, so this is really weird. And then, <laughs> because we have two mother figures here holding babies, and they're facing each other. They're facing each other. And I almost feel like you're being confronted by your your nature. The good and well not, the good and the bad aspects. The the what I mean by that, what would be the high vibes and the low vibes of this card. You're being, you know, there's good to this idea of Empress, and this is as a nurturer and a caretaker. But then that means that you must also if must neglect in some other areas of your life. Now, this this di dichotomy is always going to be present in us. You know, we can't really manage it all. I mean, well, we can't control it all. Is the word I really want to put there? But and and but it's through our awareness. It's, it's sort of almost endless and seamless. It's it's almost. Um, it's limitless. It's it's not it, it's in terms of being blind. Oh, it's definitely not blind. And so, with awareness, you don't have to be everywhere and do everything. But with awareness, you are um, acting from a place of clear knowing, and which allows you to make choices that care for that balance that your awareness has expanded around and is encompassing and giving you that insight. That's where your intuition is, is almost working like an overseer and awareness is like an overseer. If you're really getting to the picture I'm trying to, to, to uh, portray here for you. So, Tap into your awareness, your intuition, 
to be able to to guide you to ma uh, maintain the balance. So it will always give you the guidance that honors that balance, even if you can't see it or if you can't be there to handle it. Okay? So this is also, you know, that word letters coming back to my mind, Cancer. And I don't know if it's about journaling or writing people. You know, sometimes you may not... You, like, for instance, you may not want to get on a phone call with somebody because they take up too much of your time or they'll ask you for more than what you are able to give in that time frame. I know less talking about stuff outside of that, but it might be more efficient for you and more productive for you to write letters or obviously emails in this re in this regard, in this day and age, um, to... Um, for some of the people that m would otherwise not respect the, your boundaries, okay. So it's it's and, and again, this is about that nature. So there's, I feel like you need some time in nature. You need to get in touch with nature so that you can honor and respect, learn from nature to honor and respect the pro her process, just like you have a process that others need to learn to respect and you need to learn to respect your own nature's process. All right, let's take a look at the card here. So the 10 of air. And, you know, in the context here, they're giving you this is, you know, here's that hourglass. And so it's sort of like time, be aware of your time, right? And I feel like it's about you recuperating some of your time and your energy, your mental energy. Like you've just been too involved and it's sort of like, you know, this card is a card of one, like you either get the message now or you repeat the same process all over again and, and, and go through the harsh lessons again until you wake up and stand up for yourself and be clear and set clear boundaries. You know, and again, with a letter writing, you may not be able to... You know, it may be difficult with some people in person, but when you, but by handling it with a letter, you set a boundary for yourself or any other types of tools that you might be able to use to, you know, that might be able to help you set those boundaries for yourself. Okay. But it's definitely that word recovery, you know, and freedom. You need some time to yourself. You need time to unplug cancer. Okay, and you need to unplug from the matrix so you can plug into your soul, to your spirit, plug into that intuition, that awareness, because the information you're getting and with the swords, it keeps coming. That information you're getting out there, whatever you keep plugging into every day, half of that stuff is a lie. It's just a lie. You can call it half truth, a little bit. Truth. I don't care if they're twisting it. It's still a lie. It's not worth your time and your energy. You know, and you, if it's relationships and people just telling you a bunch of stuff, right? But they're not telling you the whole thing and they're not ready to to make that shift. So you have to be aware that that's where they are. Bless them, honor that, right? That is where you recognize the truth for yourself. And then be respectful of what you discover and act accordingly. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of October. God bless.